Hey guys, and welcome back to Crash Mine Over Mutant. We're now going to make our way into that ominous, spooky mountain that's off in the distance over there. Why did I stop? I, I don't know why I stopped there. I, I just did. I mean, I'm not going to question the geography of this place because it's been questionable since Crash 1. Apparently this island, one side, it's, it's all forest and mountain in the middle. It's... Then on one side it goes desert, junkyard. I mean, the junkyard could have just been there from other reasons, but. And then it's Spooky Mountain. The other side is ice. And nothing else. Although that's counted as separate. I don't know, because in Crash 1 and 2, actually, there's a, it's, it's the one for islands. There's, there's three of them. Here we only ever see one. So, what happened to the other two? Anyway, we're really going into super, to some Super Mario Galaxy now. The floor spins around. The difference being is that here the floor is actually spinning rather than gravity changing changing our physics. So that wasn't quite far enough. I'm going to make the wall spin a bit more, reveal the switch. Let's go against this thing. I could probably go with it as well. I don't know. I imagine if I'm climbing, it's just going to go downwards whatever direction I'm going. Crash, get off. And with that gate open, we can now make our way to what this place is known as Mount Rimley. Sounds very joyful, I have to say. The wind is constantly pushing you here, so watch out when you're platforming. It may send you further than you actually want to go. Mm, looks like I need something stronger to get through there. Either that or I just needed to do my strong attack, I don't know. That thought never occurred to me. <laughs> anyway, so we're in Mount Grimley. Grimly, you come across all of these large tombstones. As far as I'm aware, they don't do anything. They're just there for you to break and get a load of mojo. You can get a lot of mojo around Mount Grimly. Both around it and especially in it. It's the wind, but we're safe. Yeah, okay, we have these guys who are surprisingly annoying. They also love to talk, but then again, so of course it is. I don't know what it is they're throwing, I don't know if it's lasers, or, well, I say throwing, they're, they're shooting at you. It doesn't have that big a range, but when you're close to them and they're like swarming you, it's actually very annoying. Luckily, any small fry tends to go down in one hit when you have your supper size. The real enemies are the Titans. And there's plenty of them in here. Is that hand moving or is it just the camera? I can't tell. Thanks. Finally answers the phone. Very classy. It's not like I have anything better to do. <laughs> oh, thanks for asking. I feel good. All this evil agrees with me. How's our little mojo battery doing? <laughs> Cortex, you miserable traitor! I will have my revenge! <laughs> oh, fabulous. He's never looked better. Rubenesque, even. I was so tired of that guy. Felt like I married my mother. Not that I've thought about that. Stealing my mojo to power your envies? That's low even for you. But why do you keep feeding me cake? Oh, that. I just thought it would be mean. Seriously, you're never going to be able to eat cake again. Imagine that. Life without cake. You fiend! I'm going to address the minions a bit. Excuse me. Listen up, Grimleys! 
Crash Bandicoot is on his way. No games, no foolishness. Find him and destroy him. Destroy him, for real. No death traps that take ten flipping hours. Oh, 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 that's... That, that's unsettling. And guess what? Little Ooka there's looking hungry. You gross, it's dirty! I'll get my revenge for this, Cortex! Yes, yes, revenge. I'm not the one in the milking machine, Milky... Magoo. Cortex out! This is a kid's game. This is a kid's game and they got cutscenes styled around South Park, of all shows. And of all the shows cutscene styles to have, did it have to be South Park where we have literally have Uka Uka hooked up to a milking machine? That's even worse. If there's one thing that's worse than that, it's these guys. Ladies and gentlemen, my least favorite mutant in the entire game. Both of them. This is the Batman. They're not exceptionally tough, but that also means they're not exceptionally strong when you're in control of them either. No, what I hate about these guys is how utterly unresponsive their controls are. Thankfully, I don't come across battlers that much in this game. And there's usually an alternative, an alternative that we'll be getting to very soon. But the battlers themselves, I hate these guys. So they have one combo. You need to alternate between B and Z if you're playing this version. And yep, just like that. You can create a tornado by shaking the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Again, it's quite delayed, it's not that useful. Again, I swear they can do it so much faster than you. You see, the attack isn't very strong, and most of the time it doesn't even work. Like, this is me trying to do it here. Eventually, the only reason I would ever get it to work is if I'm just mashing B and Z, and it just it just happens to work. Otherwise, this attack never works, and sometimes I'll do that, and I, I don't know how I managed to do that either. They can't fly, or at the very least glide, sadly. And they're big, I can maybe understand, but they've got fairly large wings on those gigantic arms, so maybe they can't glide at all. Yeah, I actually managed to get to work there. It's easier when there's only one of them and they're already stunned. I mean, design-wise, they're cool. I just hate their attacks. Oh, and the arms are constantly flapping. Just put your arms down. That's all you got to do. Just rest them against your body. There's like an area down there that I'm sure I can get like a load of mojo in, but I couldn't be bothered. When you backtrack all this time, you just want the game to end. Crash, what are you doing? Why are you staying in place? And now we meet another one. So we've gone from the worst Titan to what is easily the best. Again, I apologise if you can hear the broken fan of my laptop. It is being an absolute banshee at the moment. I'm hoping the microphone's just a bit too far away and angled in the way that it can't really pick it up. But uh, that's your warning just in case. You may hear it a few times. Okay, he should totally be stunned right now. And watch out for that punch, they are deadly accurate with it. Alright, Grimleys. Best sight in the entire game. Why? Because they are nothing but fisticuffs. Just rapid fire punches that you can just do over and over again. You may get make it a bit tired, but other than that, this is all you gotta do. Make short work of just about every single enemy. Their charge attack is a little bit difficult to activate, but other than that, these guys are alright. But well, they're great even. Sadly, one thing we don't get to do, even though we saw Crash do it at the beginning of the game, is we don't get to kick them in the crotch. But they're not particularly strong, and they have the power to slow down time. Have I mistimed that? 
So shake the Wii Remote and Nunchuck to slow down time. Shake it again to stop it. And should just wait for the meter to run out. I'll punch these things to get the purple fruit and that will fill the meter up a considerable amount. It won't fill it up all the way if it's too low. But it will fill up a considerable amount. Just punch it again. It takes a few seconds before you're able to get another fruit out. But other than that, it's fine. Unless that happens. But Mount Grimley really wants you to use these guys. The battlers are just here for the sake of they returning from Crash and Titans. But these guys, they really want you to use these guys. Yeah, I just find them really cool. They kind of remind me of the little boxing enemy from New Super Mario Brothers. That was in some of the ghost house levels. And the, uh, the attacks do slow down time. They can slow down time, but they're not immune to the attack when others do. This is incredibly satisfying to do. I don't find their strong attack to be uh, to be that effective though. Like they're deadly accurate when they use it against you, but I I can't use it to like me. <laughs> also, as they move around, their hands are constantly moving back and forward. They don't even have arms. It's like Boulder Geist. Needs to slow down time here so you can get past it. They're going to get by a rock. They can jump despite the fact that they have no legs. But I guess with a tail like that, considering it uses a spring, it crawls around like a pig's. Well, that shadow looks really weird. You have these tombstones all over the place. So I don't, I don't think they're enemy spawners. I think the enemies just, uh, I guess, are behind them. They will occasionally block. If they, if you put, if they're caught in a block, you can't really do much against them. You sort of just have to stop punching them. This is, this is when I discovered that doesn't add to your combo. But you can get some serious combos going with the Grimmies, and that means. And the higher your combo, the higher your multiplier, which means that the more mojo you're going to get. So you're going to level up much faster. I can never get my timing for these things right. Ow. Sort of just like, screw it. Ow. They do not take as much health as you'd expect them to. I used to think, because very often we come across these little round things alongside the stenches, and I used to think it was the stenches at all. But it isn't, it's, it's just the little guys. But the little enemies in this in both of these games, they love to chat. Out of the way, Battler. I'm not interested in you. I just know it's just like a little boxing ring there when you get hurt. Goodbye. Again, I, unless it's the only one around, I will actively be avoiding the battlers in terms of riding them. Oh, this time that. It's like at first glance, that is not a platform. <laughs> Jump on this one, get the timing right. Eventually. <laughs> Jump. Jump again. Wait, okay, this fruit is here. Occasionally, he does like to go into the wrong direction. There we go. Come on, platform. Some any time today, please. I don't know what's to the right. I'm just going to go to the left. Because this is the right way. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. This is so satisfying. I kind of wish that you could do a few more like ghostly things with them. Like maybe you could go through them or turn invisible. 
But uh, punching them is good, and so is that attack, your jumping attack. It's pretty strong, it's pretty reliable. Okay, so this was the part that gave me quite a bit of trouble. It's a bit, this is some difficult platforming here. So the platforms are constantly going up and down. Of course, you have to use your, your slowdown of time to get across here. The problem is that there's also a bunch of swinging axes that are there. It, it's the camera, the camera angle kind of makes it hard to tell sometimes exactly where the axe is positioned. Like it might look like you're far away from the action, not. And then sometimes they're just not in sync with each other in a very useful way, like this. I wasn't anywhere near that, I don't know why that happened. Well, that didn't work. Sounds like this, you wish that meter would fill up just a little bit more. I got lucky there. Unfortunately, I proceed to fall down afterwards. This is exciting! Now they decide to stop giving me the fruit. Right. Greed was my enemy here. Damn it! <laughs> now I gotta climb all the way back up. If ever you see a wandering bit of mojo off in the distance, don't go after it because stuff like that will happen. And you will then have to do it all over again. Right. Let's try it again. Avoid the swinging axes. Eventually. Go on faster, please. And I said this is the guy that can slow down time. Synchronization between the axes and the platforms is a little bit off. So it's like at first it looks like as one swings the other falls down, but they not quite like that. So I'm not gonna go for it this time. And there we go. A multitude of directions that we can go in. Of course, the upper one is clearly nothing. This is all from Mojo. The dark side. So I, I don't know what it is I did. I don't know if I collected something. I don't know what just happened there. But we're not going to see it again. Goodbye, Sludge. We won't be using you anymore. At least not right now. And that's all that was up here. See, if this was Crash to Insanity, I would have died. But you can only fall so far in that game. I hate it. If I could turn back time. Well, actually, we're, we're slowing down time. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, when you're just backtracking all the way, you, you quickly start to run out of commentary. And this is only part six. But, you know, we're, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. Well, I could say is, thank God, there isn't much more backtracking. We are revisiting areas, but in terms of backtracking, there thankfully isn't that much. There's only one more bit of it that we're going to be doing. Even then, I'm starting to wonder if it's actually backtracking or if I just went the wrong way. Which, me being me, is the, mo is the more likely of the two, I'd say. But then again, this is by never using. I don't know if you have to use the Grimly here, but it probably helps. Slow down time. And the platforms will disappear much slower. But it looks like you probably would be able to jump across them, jump across them with crash. Now it doesn't give me a fruit. It 
insert the Jeopardy theme here. Though I fear I might get copyrighted if I do, so I'm not going to. Now, I thought this was going to lead me to Uga Uga because of the fog. It doesn't. It's just a very foggy room. But the most annoyingly placed narrow pathways ever. When you can't see, and this is when they decide to give you the narrow paths. Two directions you can go in, both lead to the same area. Nothing here, but we can go up this way. It's one of those bomb enemies. Follow the mojo to find the exit crash. So Zakawaki will say there, follow the mojo. It helps clues you in. Oh! Of course it doesn't make it very easy to see the fan. I mean, that is tricky, but we made it. Oh, nobody asked. Nobody wants you here. I can't do anything, we're both blocking. Ow. I'll give it to them, they have range. Because they're enormous arms, they do have some range. And they're pretty effective at blocking. Oh, now I've got to take control of a battler. Just mash the buttons. Just keep alternating B and Z. Or at least that's what I was trying to do. And, you'll just, and most of the time they will do the combo. And yes, I decided to do this again. Luckily they can still grab ledges. Despite their enormous wings, they are still capable of grabbing ledges. I'm not sure how, because the bat's wings are structured around its fingers. I don't think these things are really being much good at grabbing ledges. I think they have like one loose finger that allows them to climb, but other than that, yeah, I don't get it. Come on. Oh, so close. Come on. There we go. Ditch the bat now. Apart from the one that I still have stored. Oh, I'll get him later. Oh, no. How did he miss that? Oh, no, no, he got me that side. But I don't know how he missed me before. But your diving attack is not that useful on slopes like this, but other than that, it is pretty useful. It has slight homing properties. So they do tend to home in on an, on an enemy that's nearby. And it's pretty strong. It's the long one. It can be quite deceptive on whereabouts the positioning of these things is. Like for instance, I failed to notice that there was a last one there. I thought that I could jump to that platform. And then I noticed just a tad too late. Again. This is the biggest one, and this is where they decide to get rid of the fruit. So all you can do is just wait, and then eventually you'll get the meter will fill up. So let's try it again. Alright, last one. And I still fail. Luckily, just because I, I managed to get close enough that it does spawn me in on the platform. I don't know why I can't grab this bit of mojo. Just, I guess it's further away than the camera looks. Alright. Boss time! In a sense, it's, it's kind of a boss. What have we got? Oh! Oh, that noise! That noise! Oh, it's one of these guys. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Yucktopus. A time you encounter fairly early on in Crash of the Titans. And a very strong one. One that Crash himself can't really do any damage to, at least in Titans. I think you can do a little bit here, but it's next to worthless. Anyway, so we got to use the Yucktopus to destroy these machines. The Grimleys and... 
battlers in the line, they are strong enough. Unfortunately, this guy is super tough. So I was trying to get this guy for ages. I, I've cut out to the point where I actually start getting some success in fighting. Because even when you slow down sign, you know, they're not, they're not, they haven't stopped entirely. They can still block. And then he's pretty strong. And eventually, your jump attack starts to become your better option. All right, then it took me a bit of time to work out what it is I needed to do. And do you want to know why it took me a while to work out what to do? Because the game doesn't tell you about it. I mean, again, I probably could have just worked out. Now, every single enemy has a thing that you can do with the Z button. Eventually, that's like, oh yeah. I mean, that caused the issues before. I could probably work out to do it again. But no, the up to plus otherwise, it has two attacks. It can use its backpipes on the ground like this. And it can swap things with its center. There's Uka Uka. But yeah. Probably could have cut this part out as well. But anyway. Ugh. Did I mention I hate backpacks? This is why I worked it out. It's like, oh wait, the Z button. That should have destroyed it in one go. The only problem is you have to keep waiting to fill up the meter again. Thankfully the other enemies will do just that and because the Atticus is nice and strong you can take out the other enemies with very little issue. And can withstand some pretty strong attacks. The bagpipes. Why did it have to be bagpipes? I mean the fact that it uses them as an attack kind of is the, uh, the nod to how many people don't like bagpipes, myself included. I'm no offense if you're Scottish, but I hate bagpipes. Alright, just one left. I mean, this, this isn't really a boss fight, this. The Yoctopus is the boss. He just then has to take control of it and just use it on this thing. And there we go, that's the last one. Finally! Oh, if I had nipples, they'd kill right now! My brother! What did they do to you? That treacherous dog Cortex stole my power! All my bad mojo has been drained and put into envies that he sent all over the world! All over the world? That little weasel of a scientist actually had a good idea for a change! However, I didn't realize it involved milking you. Yes, milking me! Ha ha! Everybody enjoys a laugh at the evil mask. I will destroy Cortex for this, and you two short bus students will be the means of my vengeance. Why should we help you? You're a jerk. Remember Mom's birthday? You sent her socks. Honestly, who sends socks to a magic mask with no feet? You'll help me because if you restore my power, I will give you the means to reach Cortex's lair and destroy his envies forever! Fine, we'll restore your powers. Tell us what we have to do. The voodoo bones of my mask have been stolen and given to the worst, most despicable mutants on the island. Get them back. Be my vengeance. I will use my power to let you move around quickly. You dummies probably walked everywhere. And please, would you clean this cake off my face? <laughs> you... I, 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 really? They know. They know how annoying all of this backtracking is. And that's what they're gonna do? We're just gonna, oh, we're suddenly gonna give you the ability to teleport everywhere. Towards the end of the game, you have to go through all of that. And now, now they, they freaking joke about it. You know what? I'm not laughing. This part pisses me off. I mean, I'm grateful 
again, that I have the ability now, but only now they're going to give you this ability. First they phase you to black, and now they give you the means to teleport. Where was all this before? It's like, they know. They know. That's why they stretch all of this out. I'm going to keep ranting in the next part. This isn't over. I'll see you guys next.